Good evening everyone, this is Melissa with the thestockswish.com and welcome. Just wanted to do a review here of Facebook. Been watching this, of course, ever since the gap. And here we are, Facebook help. And you know, looking back, I guess it was too much to expect <laughs> that Facebook would, you know, gap up $8 and then just run like the Dickens and break over the IPO price. Um, or break out to new highs basically, too, um, in the first run up. So it's obviously, you know, that was too much to expect. But we did run up to here, okay, and the low of this bar here back where it actually traded the first day that it opened, the low was 38, and we got over that. I mean, we went way over that. We ran over that into this lift off here. So I was thinking we'd run straight up all the way up to 45. Well, we're going to take some time to do that. But I called a beautiful buy today in Facebook. Here it is, and really actually worked well even against the market, even into this afternoon. In fact, here was the, the setup in the afternoon. Let me get the one. I mean, if you saw this to do this in the afternoon, let me show it to you. Here was a buy in the afternoon of Facebook. Okay, right down here, I'll show you what it was. 3780 was the first target for the run up that happened in the morning. And when it came down then, so it, do you see this here? Look. So the stock runs up here. This is a morning move. This is a trade I called this morning. I said Facebook's a good buy today, regardless of the market. Triggered, fell in, dropped on down, rallied all the way up. 3750 was the first target, okay? And then it went through it. And actually 3780 was the next area it had to get over. And then here it did into the lunchtime period, 1130. So 3780 was the first full real target before it hit 38. And then when it rallied up, okay, to 38 and came down, obviously things don't keep going forever in one straight line. It came in in here in the afternoon, reversal time into 131.45, reversal time into 2 o'clock, major reversal time to the area that was the initial target. Okay, so this ran up here, it made the resistance, kept going higher, came down here, this is now support. So this was resistance over here, do you see it? Now this is support. So the entry then to go higher, the actually the dream target today was 38.30, I think it got to it. Look at that, unbelievable, 38.28. So then the buy is here on the area of resistance. So now it's support, do you see, for long. This was a beautiful entry, the five cent stop and ran all the way up, you know, over 50 cents to the target. So the first target was the high of this bar here, 38.30 or roughly there a bounce and it got up to it. And this is all going on when the market was dropping down this afternoon. So this is a nice play. This is, there's follow through and this is going to happen tomorrow. This is it. So when after Facebook ran up and came down here, it held basically 36 as their areas held the number, came on in, could have even gone in more if it wanted to, it didn't do it, held this big fat green bar here that gapped up and carried on through three days after the gap. This is it. This is going higher now. So this is a buy on Facebook to go higher, to go up to 45. This is it. And if you're in from the day of the gap, you're up no matter what. So there's nothing to worry about. Swing trade core trade on this was to get in the day of the gap. This gap is going to hold. This is actually a amazing, look at this thing. It's just absolutely beautiful. So now it's doing the follow through and the next area will be, well, the next area realistically is 42. Okay. So here, 42 with the lift off, it's going to happen over this area here at 39. Great chart. Great chart. Nice long, even holding well with the market pull in the last few days, Facebook's giving a lift. Beautiful bullish gap that happened back here on 725. Have to understand how to read gaps. This is the corrective gap. Facebook is now in an uptrend, and there is nothing that is going to change that but a gap down, which is just not going to happen. So, I mean, sometime in its life it might happen, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. So, great job on Facebook, those that bought it on my call this morning in the room. And uh, it was a nice play. It was a nice play Friday, too. So if you'd like any more information on how to read trends or how to read gaps, how did I even read this Facebook app? How did I know that the gap on Facebook there was amazing to buy? 
You can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. This is a Facebook update. Bye, bye, bye. Go Facebook. See you soon, everybody.